Hi, and welcome to the 2014 Amgen Tour of California. This is Race Radio on Bicycling.com. I'm Joe Lindsay, joined by Frankie Andreo, and we're here at Mountain High Ski Area here in Southern California. Yes, there are ski areas in Southern California. Uh, and this is the finish of stage six. It was a 94.4 mile stage, uh, the Queen stage, the second summit finish of the race atop Mountain High here, and it's about 7,300 feet high. So it was a little bit of a finish at altitude. And right from the get-go, again, we saw a break go, and it was a little bit of a twist because Garmin had Tom Danielson in there and Tommy told me later that the goal there wasn't to go for a stage win they were trying to set everything up for Rohan he said it was all for the GC didn't quite work out no it didn't quite work out but I mean I saw Danielson uh it was in a break earlier on and they got reabsorbed and then he got back into a break and was going up the road he said again he worked hard to get into that break and there were two dangerous guys in there which was uh Chavez and De La Cruz because they were like three and a half minutes yeah. and so Sky couldn't really give them too much of a too much of a, a, a lead to be able to, because you know these guys were decent climbers. They were up there on the GC, so they they already proved that they were strong on the Diablo. So that means they could climb at the end today, and so they kind of kept things in check until uh, until actually they never caught them. Yeah, they never did. So at the, at the end, 5K to go, things are kind of starting to come apart, and Chavez uh, attacks two or three times. Finally gets Danielson off the wheel and solos in for a pretty fantastic stage victory. This kid's 23 years old. He's in his first year with Orca on the World Tour. And uh, he was a, a winner in 2011 of the Tour de Levin year. And then last year, uh, last spring, he had a horrible crash at Trophée Laguglia. Broke a bunch of bones in his face, had nerve damage to his arm, was basically out the rest of the season. So to see him come back from that and to win here again really confirms that his career is back on track. Uh, I think we're going to see more of this guy. <coughs> Excuse me, a big climbing day. And... <clears throat> What happened leading up to that is that 30K to go, 20K to go, kept set at three minutes, and so they weren't bringing it back. So BMC ended up having to come to the front because Chavez and De La Cruz were about to jump in front of Peter Stetton, and they were about to jump. They weren't a threat to Bradley Wiggins, but they were a threat to the guys in third, fourth, and fifth, and so there was going to be a big shakeup on the GC. They prevented that. These guys only had about a minute at the finish. Uh, Adam Yates did a great ride. Fantastic Bradley Wiggins took out another four seconds. Uh, out of Dennis, and Dennis said he was at his limit. He couldn't, he couldn't go anymore. Uh, but the biggest kind of shakeup, Lawson Craddock moved up into moved up third, third overall, and then um, who was that? Chavez uh, moved up from 13th to seventh place, yep. and then Matt Boucher kind of was the biggest loser. He went from seventh down to 13th. So a little bit of shake up in the general classification. And you know, the other day we were talking about the young guys, and I just took a look, and, and, and again, we've got young guys. We've got Rohan Dennis in second, we've got Lawson Craddock in third, and then you've got young guys in fifth and seventh place overall here. So it's really definitely a race for the youth here so far. And yeah. Bradley Wiggins. And, 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 and Bradley Wiggins, <laughs> you're right. And, you know, and, they're go and they're going good. And there was a few DNFs today. Um, with uh, Kirk Carlson not finishing. Phil Guyman's been sick. Yep. He didn't finish, so obviously these guys aren't going to be able to take uh, part in the race tomorrow. And tomorrow and the next day are tough. Yeah, they are. Uh, tomorrow's a big Absolutely. climbing day again. Two big climbs, but it's a perfect day for stage hunters. 89 yeah. miles, all you have to do is be able to climb a little bit, and that break is going away, and I think should make it to the finish in Pasadena. I think another tip would be that your team you'll see on the front is Cannondale, because Peter Sagan has come here. He's won all kinds of stages in the past. He's won 10 stages at this race before, more than anybody else. Hasn't won any this year. And I think, you know, we talk, you, you talked to him yesterday, and he said, no, I'm not disappointed. But I think it was pretty clear that, that he would like to win a stage yet. That's a good pick for him. The final stage is also okay, but I think So you don't those, think it's a good day for stage hunting? Uh, I think it's a good day for stage hunting. I'm, I'm saying that I think the setup is stage hunters versus Cannondale because I, I think they're going to have to take the role of really leading that chase. They'll get some help from Sky for sure, yeah. but Sky's not worried about guys getting away and having a shake up on yeah, GC They're going to be 15 tomorrow. minutes down, 13 minutes exactly. down. Exactly. they got a long way to that descent in Pasadena, yeah. but those two climbs are the kind of things that could definitely shed Cav and Dagen Kolb again, and if they come off, then you know Cannondale could push it on the front to, to try to keep them from getting back on. And they got three circuits at the end in, 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 Pasadena, in Pasadena, so there's yeah. even more time on the flats to be able to to bring it back so mm -hmm. uh you know wiggins has this thing a little bit more firmly in Absolutely. his hand um you know nobody even thought about attacking today they were mm -hmm. at their limit tomorrow's gonna be a tough stage again mm -hmm. and yeah i'm go stage hunters go stage hunters another competition that's not totally sewn up yet is the KOM competition yep. uh will ratley has 42 points there esteban chavez jumped up to 24 but i don't think we'll see him in the break tomorrow uh, but at 23 is chris jones from united healthcare he was in the break today and he could go again tomorrow and there's 14 points on offer tomorrow and young rider because uh yates ended up taking about 20 seconds out of law out of yep. uh, craddock's lead 
And so if Yates keeps climbing the way he is, especially in the last day, yep. uh, that could change. But Lawson's going to worry about third place overall, not so much on that, uh, on that on white jersey. Rider, perhaps, absolutely. So anyway, tomorrow, tune back in, see whether the stage hunters get it, whether Peter Sagan finally gets his first stage win of the 2014 Tour of California, or if it's somebody else. That's Race Radio. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Yeah.